tell him that when Novell, when he answers that, when, when he asks that question, you say they don't put enough asphalt down there in the last ten years. Yeah, you, but you put it in there bowling ball size chunks. <laughs> I was about to say there, but it wasn't put down right, so it gets to be done again. It was the Italian mix. Services. This is discussion of possible action relative to adoption of a resolution proclaiming existence of a local emergency and requesting the governor to one, proclaim a state of emergency, and two, request a presidential declaration. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, yes. uh, point of order, we probably should have public matters not on the agenda, even though it's a special meeting for that is a good point. Uh, can we have them after this agenda? Item? I don't care what you do. You're the chairman. I'm not sure you have to have a special meeting because you can't really talk about anything other than what's on the agenda. Well, neither could you in a regular, you know, it's just a, you can't take any action. It's just usually have public matters. Correct? We will take public matters after this agenda item then to give the public a every opportunity to come here and address this. So, under Sheriff Wagner, would you please present? Chairman, uh, members of the board, as you are the sheriff, uh, by your guys' resolution, uh, Ordinance uh, 1396 is Director of Emergency Services. With the uh, storms that uh, commenced on about March 16th, the county received uh, several inches of rain in a very short period of time. Um, and as a result of that storm, there was significant damage uh, to the roads. Um, a total at this point uh, for county roads of $1.6 million. And uh, I haven't heard back from the city of Jackson yet. Uh, both Ione and Sutter Creek are reporting that they don't have any evident damage at this point, that they're still doing an analysis and evaluation of their roads. Um, Amber City, I haven't spoken with. I've left a message with them as well. Plymouth has provided uh, approximately about $51,000 worth of damage. I forwarded both those documents. Uh, to you guys earlier today. Um, due to the amount of damage, uh, as uh, the Director of Emergency Services, uh, we did a, uh, as Deputy Director of Emergency Services, I did a proclamation of a local emergency because of the amount of damage and the uh, jeopardy to public safety as it, as it relates to the roads and the damage caused by the storms. Uh, after uh, the Director or deputy director, as the case may be, uh, does a proclamation. The board has seven days to uh, basically ratify that and do a resolution of a, a local emergency, wherein they request the uh, governor uh, to uh, proclaim a, a, an emergency for Amber County and request a presidential uh, declaration for the state. Um, the state threshold, I think, is $44 million. I have with me today is uh, uh, our uh, Calima OES uh, representative, Dana Owens. Uh, she can probably talk about the intricacies at the state level and federal level much better than I can. 
Um, but this is the first step in the mechanism to recover any monies that we may qualify to recover uh, should the governor declare and should we meet the threshold for a presidential declaration. So this is just the, the mechanism to uh, avail ourselves to the funding should it become available. Not everything that uh, the road department or the city of Plymouth may necessarily be covered, um, but I say we should put forth all the damage that we can identify and recover what possible can. So. Thank you. Any questions from board members? These are just preliminary estimates, so chances are they could go up a higher two. Absolutely. And that would be covered by resolution? Yes. Yes, um, uh, Supervisor Forster, I'm thinking also, too, with the price of gas going up, road base and cut back and everything else will be going up uh, as uh, oils and everything else go up. So I'm sure that uh, road base and cut back will be going up substantially with the fuel costs that's going up. Good point. Uh, it says that the local emergency continues until this board uh, determines by proclamation that it's terminated. Correct. <laughs> Any questions for our state? What, given that, is there special sun funds set aside at the state and federal level? Uh, to address these types of proclamations and, and how are they subject to the budget wranglings of both institutions? Yeah, the money is allocated for emergencies through the state. I don't know um, what would help us in this disaster is there's about 14 counties in the state right now that are in the same situation. Um, some of your, uh, Tuolumne did the same thing as proclaiming its requesting status loss, Mariposa, Sierra, and then there's a few on the the area side, but what we would like to do, um, what will help the state, is if, if all of our aggregate counties reach the federal threshold of 44 million, then that brings in federal funds, so that's less the state has to cover. It, it, it increases, it decreases the state and the local um, cost share for the state. But yes, there is um, money that's typically set aside for emergency. Question is, can we uh, reach that forty-four million dollar threshold? You know, the, the probably the Excel spreadsheet that I saw yesterday. Um, I think the biggest one was Santa Cruz County had seventeen million dollars, but we were at that forty-four million. So I think there's a good chance that it could good. reach the federal level. Does the total all have to be relative to the same declared emergency? Yes, but okay. also be storm. So down. Santa Cruz couldn't be the waves that hit there. No, the <laughs> no that's tsunami. something different, yeah. Okay, no, different. they had a lot of road damage too and they, they had some, some flooding that was from rivers. I think they lost a section of either 1 or 101. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That's not going to be cheap or inexpensive. Mm -hmm. But uh, part of the um, part of the declaration process for roads, especially if they're on system federal roads, is the Federal Highways Administration also has a program that um, we will be requesting for. So even um, even though it wouldn't, wouldn't impact your um, budget, the state highways could also qualify for federal funds. Okay, with that, the board will entertain a motion. I would move that um, we adopt the resolution proclaiming existence of a local emergency and request the governor to first proclaim a state of emergency and second request a presidential declaration. Second. And moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. I'd like to thank Under Sheriff Wagner for being cognizant of this opportunity through the Office of Emergency Services and bringing it to our attention. Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah, thank you. Uh, now we will offer up public matters not on the agenda if there's any member of the public that would like to address the board this time. I think mm -hmm. Matt said he wanted to do <laughs> We are hereby adjourned. This teaser now. Information
Yeah, see, look at there. <laughs>